एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल आई होप यू ऑल आर गुड सो इन सम ऑफ माई प्रीवियस डॉक्यूमेंट्री एडिटिंग टूटोरियल्स आई हैव रिसीव अ लॉट ऑफ कमेंट्स एंड मैसेजेस दैट हाउ टू क्रिएट एनिमेशन लाइक मैगनेट्स मीडिया इन मोबाइल फोन सो या इन दिस टूटोरियल आई विल टीच यू हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट एनिमेशन सेम इज लाइक मैगनेट्स मीडिया इन अ लाइट मोशन सो वी विल यूज ओनली नल ऑब्जेक्ट फॉर दिस सो इफ यू आर अ कंटेंट क्रिएटर यू शुड डेफिनेटली वॉच दिस वीडियो एंड इफ यू हैव ए यूट्यूब चैनल और पोस्टिंग ऑन सोशल मीडिया सो आई वन टेल यू समथिंग इफ यू एवर वंडर हाउ सम पॉडकास्ट स्टोरीज एंड शॉर्ट वीडियोज आर रैंक ऑन टॉप एट यूट्यूब एंड यू टाइप ऑफ स्मॉल क्रिएटर्स आर स्ट्रगलिंग टू गेट नोटिस इट्स नॉट जस्ट अबाउट द कंटेंट इट्स अबाउट हाउ यू प्रेजेंटेड पॉडकास्ट स्टोरी टेलिंग शॉर्ट वीडियोज विद ओनली ऑडियो लिमिट्स योर रीच वेल एडिंग विजुअल्स चेंज everything like more engagement more views more shares and a bigger audience while tools like premiere pro and capcut are so powerful but they even don't offer audio to video conversion which is very helpful feature but filmora is doing that so let me show you how you can use it with filmora turning your podcast or storytelling into a visual experience is just effortless after opening filmora you just need to click on the toolbox option where you will find the audio to video feature After clicking on it here you can upload your audio from files or import it through another option so i will upload from files after importing the audio file you have to choose your audio language so i will select it here okay now select the category of your content such as story or history so in my case i will select story and then adjust the aspect ratio according to your platform then choose a video style such as photography portrait and more so i will keep it on auto then you can also add your own character for personalized visuals but since it's optional so i will not choose it right now in the bottom section you can choose up to 10 material templates based on your content after that just hit the generate button so it will take a couple of minutes to generate high quality visuals by identifying key moments from your audio once done your video is ready with the audio script okay so you can even edit it by clicking the edit button so you can customize or change elements according to your preference he created content posted daily and at first no one noticed doubt crept in but he kept going learning from every failure slowly things changed his video gained traction a few followers turned it into thousands and then one post went viral Brands reach out, opportunity is opened, and the money follows. Don't let your podcast stories get lost into the noise. Turn it into dynamic videos and start growing today. I have added the Wonder Chef in more a link in my description. You should definitely try this software. So now we will jump into the tutorial. So take a seat. Open a light motion and import your first image. Then import the character PNG. Use any background remover to do this. Okay. Now upload one more image and slide it to right side using the Move and Transform tool. Keep this image out of the frame like this. Next, import the green screen tree image in the timeline. Go to Effects and select Green Screen Standard Settings, and adjust the threshold according to the image. Set the feather to 0%. Then add the saturation and brightness effect and reduce the saturation like this. Now select the tree image layer and go to Move and Transform. Now you have to increase the Z value up to minus 1000%. Zoom in on the tree image and position it on the screen according to the animation like this. Select the first image, apply the saturation effect and reduce the intensity to minus 80%. Then add the Gaussian blur effect to the tree image like this. Okay, now we will add text according to the content like uh, farmers so i am typing here now i have used the mabri pro font for this but you can choose any font you prefer now import text spacing into your text layer and reduce the letters spacing for a professional heading duplicate this text layer and change the text for the next letters okay now go to colors tab and select the gradient option and adjust the bottom shadow like this for a cinematic feel to keep the first text behind the character png simply hold this text layer and scroll it down in the layer panel to keep this text behind the character png and now that's it our first view is ready to create a smooth text effect select your first text layer and add an effect called text transform then choose the wave right preset now move the second text layer slightly forward next add the fade in out animation effect to the second text layer copy this effect and paste it onto the first text layer now Reposition the both text layers again like this. Now select the first image, character PNG and both text layers and group them by clicking on this icon. So finally we will add the null object. Click on the objects and elements icon and choose the null option. Now connect all three layers to the null layer like this. After connecting them, select the null layer, go to move and transform 
and pull in the arrow to increase the Z axis value according to the image. Now add a keyframe at the beginning and a second keyframe at around 4 seconds. Adjust the position and pull out the arrow to reduce the Z axis value or change the left right position to fit the screen. Add a graph between keyframes, set to easy ease and adjust it like this. Now your animation will look like this. Next, add one more null layer at 3 second mark on the timeline. Then connect the first null with null 2. Now add two keyframes on the second null and zoom out the image using the Z axis value to keep the image at the correct size on the second keyframe. Apply the same graph to smooth the transition. Here's the result. It's looking better. Now add a third null layer just before the last keyframe and connecting null 2 with null 3. Add two keyframes again, moving the second keyframe slightly to the right to reveal the second image view like this. So the final animation will look like this. Then add a fourth null just before null 3's last keyframe and connect null 3 with null 4. Add two keyframes again and pull in via the Z axis and adjust the position to get a closer look then set the graph between keyframes like this but move the bottom slightly forward and here's the closer look. Next add a fifth null and connect null 4 with null 5. Add two keyframes again and pull in with the Z axis to create a slow motion animation but don't add the graph here. So here's the final shot. Now we need a picture with a green screen painting. Import it and add a chroma key effect to the image layer and increase the threshold accordingly to the remove green screen part. After that add null 6 just before the last nulls keyframe, connect null 5 with null 6 and also connect the image with null 6. Remember to add the image to null 6 the last null. Now add two keyframes within a 6 to 7 seconds time gap. Pull out the image via Z axis up to 2000 plus value or something else. Add the same graph between keyframes, then select the home image layer, zoom in it to fit the screen and adjust it as a painting on the wall so that's the rich guy appears in the painting. I hope you got it. Now increase the Z value of the image so parallax effect comes out properly. And now I am increasing the null and image length here and zooming out more with the Z axis to get a perfect pull out effect. Apply the same graph between those keyframes and it's done. Now for the final step, import an image of a mom and son or any human figure you want to use. Place this image at the same mark where null 6 is starting and adjust the length accordingly. Zoom in it on the PNG to fit the screen and connect it with null 6. So your animation is ready now. Yeah, so it's damn good. And finally we will apply some more realistic touches like adding motion blur effect in the tree image to enhance its appearance. Okay, so it's look good. Also apply the saturation effect to the second image and reduce it for a cinematic tone. Similarly reduce the saturation of the last PNG image and that's it. This is called animation like magnets media. Most people are unable to achieve this kind of animation even in after effects. It's all about skills. I know this tutorial looks complicated but trust me, once you try creating this animation you will gain the best experience and your skills will improve definitely. I hope you enjoyed the video. Comment below with your suggestions for new tutorials and I will make them for you. Subscribe to my channel for more amazing tutorials. Love you all.